Yeah, People use it. toothpaste on their walls. They'll do all sorts of stuff. We can do the same education pieces, yeah. or you could be doing the same Don't education pieces. Don't put condoms pieces. on drywall Don't. Tools. <laughs> <laughs> What's your number one recommendation? <sighs> Change your fucking bio. He's my, been talking to me about this bio for like a year and a half. His bio right now, which by the time you see this, will not be this way. It says... What's going on? Parker here from Private Media alongside Alicia James with Flamingo Consulting. And welcome back to Michigan Marketing in the Morning. On this show, we take a deep dive into the marketing strategies of small business owners and have them tell their story, their mission, and all that sort of stuff. And by the end, give them a entire six to 12 month plan on what we think that they should do based on our experiences with our, uh, with our clients. Today, we have Brandon Nostrant from Mudbenders, and we're gonna have him quick talk about uh, what he does, and then we'll get moving. How we doing, guys? I um, do drywall. I did drywall when I was like 21, 22. When I had my first kid, I was um, living the factory life, and I needed a way out. And uh, I was sitting one day in the break room, and I found an ad for drywall, and I've been doing drywall ever since. I'm two years into um, mud benders, doing it on my own. How many people do you have in your team? I currently have three people who are hourly, and then I run full sub crews for hang and finish also. All right, I'm calling absolute and utter bullshit. So yeah, I do drywall. I dry you are the best fucking drywaller in West Michigan. I have heard for real. of nobody else. Like anytime I've ever seen somebody go, hey, who do I need for drywall? Your name comes up. I literally don't Everywhere. see anybody's, uh, anybody else's name. Yeah, no. Um, so this whole, I just do drywall. Fuck <laughs> all of that. Can we just like ego boost for a minute? I just, that's pretty much how I get all of my business. I don't do much of marketing at all. Like I, at this point I post like maybe once every four to six weeks, like truthfully. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just so busy getting jobs done and answering the phone and going to the next one that I really don't have to do much because my quality speaks for itself. And I've kind of flooded the um, local Facebook pages with referrals from just the numerous locations that I've worked around West Michigan. And I mean, other contractors only recommend you. Yeah, for like sure. Like other people within the trades, like if somebody yeah. asks and these people would know, you're the best one to work with and work for. Um, yeah. I know painters who have said that I will only do stuff yeah. if he does if he does the drywall and the finishing first. Yeah, and um, that's kind of how my goal when I started two years ago was I have to be able to market myself to the homeowner and to the remodeler and to the builder and just my work, once I got into those avenues, spoke for itself and I've kind of conquered that, Yeah. I guess you would say. How do you feel like you've gotten in front of all of these, you know, all these connections? Obviously you have your residential homeowners that are calling you. Right. And then how did you really get in front of the contractors? Was it just like... My Facebook page. I get 10, 20 tabs. Whether it be the Rockford Informed, the Georgetown Informed, the Holland Informed, the Grand Haven, Ionia, I'm, I mean, I'm talking I'm all over West Michigan. I've been flown down to Florida twice for work. Um, I've been in Traverse City doing houses. Like, I'm, if there's drywall and the price is right, I'll be there doing the drywall. It's that simple. How, how long is your backlog right now? Like, how many projects do you have? I up? only book out two, three weeks at a time. Okay. Because it's not feasible or schedule friendly to have something set in stone and then well we didn't pass our inspections now it's going to float in my schedule for six weeks so now I, I gotta figure out what i can fit in for this week that pushed when if i'm two three weeks out of the time mm -hmm. it's a lot more feasible because people are coming back to me hey we're three weeks out hey we're four weeks out so that's right there in the schedule of cool I can make that happen or hey wait an extra couple of weeks because circle back and they want the work done 
by me, they'll come back. If not. And what's your favorite thing about your business? Freedoms it gives me to be a parent because it's my schedule, my business, my way. So like if something comes up, I can handle that. Whereas if my life was my life and I was a 40 hour a week an employee, I'd be pointing out pretty quickly. Yeah. And that's just not feasible. I have a family to provide for, so. So not only financially, but you have the flexibility to be right. where you need to be. Right, exactly. We were talking about this, I think, before, well, before the podcast even started and mm -hmm. being kind of that primary parent. And yeah, for sure. Needing to be the person that's like front and center and able to duck out or take care of things if you have yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. Love that. So where do you want to see your, or where do you want your business to be in about three years? Booming. Booming? For do you sure. want like multiple yeah, like crews? What? Do you want to be sitting on your ass? I mean, realistically, I can't do that. Um, <laughs> as cool as I would sound, like the biggest problem about drywall is that it's the quality of it. Cause like everybody can do drywall and like, we've all seen the horror stories. We've all, I've lived the horror stories. Like not everybody can do drywall. Just because we can do something doesn't mean we should do something. And so like- oh God, I need to get that tattooed. Yeah. Just because we can doesn't mean we should. With and, a, with and, and, and hence this tattoo. <laughs> right. <laughs> I would love to be doing a house a week with yeah. my own crew. And whatever more than that is really gonna depend on sub crews because a house a week is a feat. And yeah. that's something that myself and a two or three additional guys can do a week pretty easily yeah. and so if i can find a sub crew with the quality i would love to double i would do two houses a week or mm -hmm. five houses a week it's really going to boil down to the quality of sub at that point. i love that quality is at the cornerstone of everything you want west to do. michigan sub crews we know a guy them. um are you paying attention yeah, for real <laughs> Um, so what I would also like to bring up is the other day I had posted something about, um, you know, how much easier would life be if you could, uh, just never work or never worry about marketing ever again. Is that a goal for you? Like, do you want to for outsource sure. your, yeah. your marketing and your sales and like a thousand percent, I want to be able to make it so I can go to work, do like the bill house and, and yeah. all the in-house stuff. I can do that yeah. after work hours. The marketing and all that nine, that is a great job for me to outsource. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like um, I don't ever want to touch that shit ever again. Yeah, like it's the co the consistency behind it and the time to put into it on the back end to get where I need to be is where I don't have the time yeah. to start. Do you it's think not if that you I'm, had more marketing help that you could raise your rates or do you think it, you, it just you would be able to get more crews or like what would be right, the benefit? Right, like what I charge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the benefit to you of having an improved marketing structure? Just a more consistent. Just the consistency. Flow of jobs, I not, guess. Yeah, like just having consistent work and not having to fuck with it. Okay. It's not that I'm not busy as shit right <laughs> now. <laughs> like, today doesn't count, I'm right? going to, I've been to two job sites already today and I'm going to go back to work after this. So like. So you're it's, telling it's us to talk faster. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> no, it's all good, but like not necessarily better mm -hmm. jobs, m bigger jobs more often, so I don't have to do the five job weeks yeah. of crushing five little jobs out. Mm -hmm. Keeping the guys busy, keeping me busy, keeping food on all of our tables. What's your biggest struggle in business right now? It's just keeping, is it keeping everybody busy and employees. Not even necessarily keeping them busy, keeping, keeping quality them. employees. Do you think having more consistent and good marketing could help you with employee, like employee retention or employee finding good employees? Um, I think it would be hand in hand with it would help the work, the jobs. Mm -hmm come in so where we're getting bigger nicer jobs then instead of the remodels in downtown grand rapids that have been remodeled 10 times mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of the issues lie not that they don't want to do it the fact that we're 15 years in and their work just isn't where it needs to be and that is where the issue comes in not the jobs yeah Got it. that makes a lot that of sense, sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and another issue is these guys are 45 50 years old doing drywall for 25 years and they have a 30 year old boss is also an issue for them sometimes so okay. 
Uh, where all are you playing in, a, in the marketing world? Just through do informed groups? Do nothing but Facebook. <laughs> Just nothing Facebook. But Facebook. I don't no do website, no. anything. My Facebook page is what you get from me for marketing. I don't make phone calls. <laughs> I don't. I just answer my phone. Just That's answer the phone. It, yeah. And you're the one, only one managing it, right? Nobody else is touching it. No, just me. Okay. Go ahead. I. Why are you looking at my this. notes? He's patiently waiting. He's got just something waiting. in the back. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm waiting. Well, yeah. well, so what What have we not gone over? Uh, the, I guess the last piece is then what feels like it's falling flat. It's just like for you, it's you're so busy doing the work that you can't do the marketing. Yeah, I mean, nothing really, it? nothing's really falling flat. I just don't do it because like I'm getting out of work. I'm doing the billing. I'm doing all that. Then I'm trying to go be a dad. Like I have three kids. <laughs> I have four dogs. Sure. My wife's got a business. She runs like... Don't necessarily prioritize it the way I should, is what Parker wants me to say. Not quite. <laughs> not, not quite. Not quite. There's just not enough time um, in the day to do all the things that you are required to do as a business owner and then as a dad and as a husband. And it's yeah. just the thing that you have to let go of mm -hmm. right now. And I would say that if you weren't fucking killing it. Like, like if you had no work, I'd be like, yeah, that's why. But... If like just you being booked out already, you know, three weeks in advance and just wanting to do more and better, yeah, you're doing just fine. And as soon as you do level that up, you will get more jobs. You will get the better people. Yeah, but for sure. but for right now, like you're doing great. Well, yeah, and honestly, sure. if right now we you kind of feel like you have to tread water because there's just not enough time in the day. And it being summer vacation and kids being off of school and just yeah, wanting to do all the things, like it's exhausting and a lot of work. Right. This is just like we're in survival mode. I jokingly sure. say like for me and my kids, we are in survival mode until August. Yeah. We're going to do all the things. I'm going to focus on them, not necessarily necessarily on growth so we just kind of maintain for the winter or for the the summer and then we ramp back up in the fall yeah for sure um and then it's really just making sure that that we're planning ahead so at least for my team yeah. we start ramping everything up for come sure. like yeah. end of july beginning of august knowing that everybody's back to school and ready for yeah. you know normal days again when we get back to school except for construction your it's summer, all big it's your all summer big summer so you're is. slammed all the time and like i thankfully and like i'm super thankful I'm two years in and I haven't stopped. Like every week I've worked. You've always had work and that's amazing every, in your industry. Always working. And like in a lot of times, even when we get into the winter months, like all your outdoor construction guys now become drywallers and now they're painters. And well, I cut grass in the summertime, but in, in the winter, in the winter I'm a drywaller. Well, if you were really a drywaller, wouldn't you just be a drywaller? We get all of those undercuts, but thankfully I've stayed busy. We've kept the guys busy for those two years all winter long. Have you had a team the entire time? Yep. I've always... That's three. amazing. And I'm always running sub crews because I don't hang any of my own board. No, that's a, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I sub out all my hangs. And, and honestly, your skill set is really in the finishing work. Yeah, I mean, sure. yours is far and above everybody else's. I don't claim to be a hanger. I'm a finisher for sure. For sure. Yeah, I'm not throwing all that board up that way. <laughs> They're way faster. They're They're faster and it's just it's a different skill. Yeah, and I need to be on the finish end because that's where the work comes back because anyone can hang boards up, so that's cool. But now I gotta make it look good. Yeah. Like the, so the hangers throw and go. Now I got to make it look good and that this is where we get the retention and and then you keep getting the people coming back and those referrals. Right. And I mean, like I said, your name is the only name that gets dropped in every circle I'm in. For yeah. And like yesterday, for example, we just completed a upstairs and a main floor remodel. Literally finished last night. And he shook my hand and said, I'm going to call you in six months for the basement and the garage. Mm -hmm. So like I was on my hands and knees mopping the floor to get up for the next job. Not, not for this one. Mm -hmm. And that's where a lot of people don't understand that because this job just paid me but that didn't do anything because that job mm -hmm. is now gone because we're paid off it now we got to get to right. the next one and we can't get to the next one if we do shitty work because then you have to unscrew it up because then i'm back fixing the mm -hmm. work to get the next one when i could have just did it myself the first time i know that's the you said that that's the biggest struggle is with that the employee side of things and that putting right. the level of quality into it that you're already putting into it i would rather train someone with zero experience than take somebody on with 20 years at this point of my career that makes perfect sense mm -hmm. honestly and then being able i to don't want to have the measuring contest with anyone <laughs> about my way yeah. Because it's my job, it's my way, and I paid you to do it the way I told you. Yeah. 
because I'm gonna pay you to go away and fix it and then you're just not gonna have a job with me anymore. That's, and that's, you said you've had a, quite a turn in. I've been through a hundred people in two years easily. One thing that I think is really gonna help you is showing people what the work actually looks like being done. Like, what what does the culture look like in the team? What what type of standard do you hold? Mm -hmm. You know, and because right now with the content that you have out, it's okay. It's not even okay. It's pretty shit. <laughs> well, I, okay, for a trades guy, it's, it's good. It is good. Right. If I'm a kick-ass drywaller with a very high standard, your online presence doesn't tell me that that's where I fit in. Right. Does that make sense? No, I follow completely. So, like, because if we... So if we take a look at your Facebook page. Like I jokingly told um, my crew leader that I was gonna buy him a GoPro to wear. Honestly, that's a that's fantastic that's, idea. Or Honestly, set up for a like, day if you're gonna yeah. be doing like one major, like even if it's just one wall, a, like a DSLR and or do hell, like even a time a phone, lapse type doing thing. a time doing a time lapse video and watching it go. Yeah. The other thing that I think would be incredible would be you know when you walk into a space and as you're quoting it before you get started. If you're going in and doing repair or you're going in and showing like, hey, there's gaps here. This is where, to me, this is not good quality and here's how. You're not claiming that it's that it's somebody else's. You're not going to name anybody's name for, you know, that it's shitty work. Right. But you go in and go, look, this is what I'm looking for. Yeah. It's all of a sudden going to get somebody like me who doesn't know anything right. and to go, oh, hell, that's in my house. I need help. Or mm -hmm. it just, it gives almost like you're you're teaching your consumer to be more discerning. And that's nowhere when it comes it to drywall. It doesn't exist. Drywall is super gatekept. Everybody. Super gatekept. Like, everybody talking, thinks that it's just drywall is drywall. Yeah. No, it's not. And you can yeah. tell when you know what you're looking for, right. good versus bad quality. And even like the high end, like the drywall shorties, you probably yeah. know. Like, yeah. Even those videos show nothing. Like it just shows her with what tool she has and then done. Like yeah. there's no A, B, C, D. Yeah, and I think this that's is what, I think that's what, one, it doesn't exist in the marketplace and it would set you apart. But I also think, you know, things that are more complicated. I know that you have the ability to do things like rounded corners and those are not simple. It looks, when you look at a wall, right. it looks simple. But to see somebody have to go through and what it, why it takes so long or why it's so expensive yeah. when somebody goes, well, I want this beautiful arch to be completely smooth. Well, yeah, the shit, little scalp good luck. ceilings. Yes. I just saved a scalp ceiling downtown in uh, Heritage Hill area. And it's it's those things that people just don't know. It seems like it should just be simple. You, I can spackle. I can go buy everything I need, and I can yeah, just sure. I can fix it myself. The hell I can. Not to make it look the quality that People you do. People use toothpaste on their walls. They'll do all sorts of those spot what screws with toothpaste. Yeah. People need to quit watching YouTube videos. Yeah. For real. Like seriously, you see. Like stop wild. watching five minute crafts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Those those stupid little pop up ads that come up on social media or on Facebook were like they're five minute crafts and it's some woman doing something weird with a balloon. I saw one yeah. the other day that was like ten ways to use a condom. I'm like I don't think you need to. But she put them over her shoes because her feet didn't get wet in puddles. And I'm like, who? What? I have so many questions. And I, what did I do? I watched it. I, yeah. Mostly out of circuit. She got paid for you watching it. She yep. probably did. And you know what? I watched it and then went, I am not buying condoms to put over my shoes. Like, I, I figured out that this is probably not a good thing. We can do the same education pieces. Yeah. Or you could be doing the same Don't education pieces. Don't put condoms pieces. on drywall Don't. <laughs> <laughs> or, I mean... Or don't use toothpaste. Like this is yeah. what it looks like when you're. I meant to go the other way, but yeah, maybe yeah. your 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 uh, position does not require condoms. At, right. yeah. Like I, uh, I would hope. It, yeah. I listen. I don't judge. I don't know anything about the drywall industry except yeah, I'm assuming that. there's no condoms involved. Yeah, no, not at all. <laughs> Let's start putting together some suggestions. What's your number one recommendation? <sighs> Change your fucking bio. So. Yeah. So, you don't have to be so hostile. He's my, been talking to me about this bio for like <laughs> a year and a half. Yeah, so to, to preface this, Brandon has been in our video marketing secrets group for a very long time. And we've been working on his reel, because he actually used to do reels a ton. So we've been kind of talking through that stuff and he's been asking for help. And his bio right now, which by the time you see this, will not be this way. It says... It says drywall company, all lowercase. 
What? It makes me want to. No. Throw. All right, you do have to change that. I have actually yes. never. I'm. This makes me violently angry. Can we do better, please? Yeah. And I mean, I told you, I don't really do much of much. We yeah. Have nah, bro. Oh. My wife did those ones. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Maybe we should have had her come too. For real. Because <laughs> yeah. my yeah. wife is super like good on hers. Like, but it's pays. also not like it's not something she's it's gonna do necessarily not, for you either. Because she's not got her own all. business. And she cares about what she's doing her videos for. Mm. She shouldn't have to care about my drywall. Now, what I do like is the captions. So like you're breaking up your text very well, you know, and like this one about like landlords. Ooh, um, I did that one. Yeah. So like land. Oh, that was a good one. Landlords try to do drywall too. Um, but then they call us. That's huge. That's, because, like, that's like a good hook. Because that also tells them this is the problem that we solve. So if you're dealing with, you know, having to do your own fucking drywall, it's probably going to look like shit and you're just going to want to call me, you yeah. know, or, or if, um, if a, uh, if a landlord fucked up their drywall, yep. they can call you. So I think we need more educational stuff like that. I love the pictures. I love like the touring around and stuff. The biggest thing is you do, uh, you do look like you have epilepsy when you <laughs> walk around yeah, with your- We need your, to get a little bit of a brace there. With your, with your camera. So, I mean, you could either get a, like a camera with internal stabilization yeah. or get a little phone gimbal. But I- Is that what that word is? Yes. I never remember what it's called. I just called the video thingy. The video thingy, Which yeah. Which is why you do the video and I do not. Uh, yeah. yeah. Obviously you need to be consistent, but doing more of the educational stuff on drywall and just showing me like what good versus bad looks like. That's a big like, one. Like as a consumer, so I didn't know that there was a difference between a drywall hanger and a drywall finisher until 10 minutes ago. Yeah, for sure. Um, There's a big difference. I have like, no idea. A lot idea. of them can't finish. They just hang. Yeah, so I didn't know that. So that's a video. You know, this looks really, really nice when it's done properly. You know, it looks super easy to do. Here's what it looks like when it's not. Yeah. You know, and and just kind of telling those stories. Mm -hmm. I also think for you to get content, get a fucking GoPro. Like get a GoPro, go on your head and right. and just vlog all day. Like you've just like just record what's going on. Right. I mean, you may not necessarily want to work I mean, we may not Everything, use the audio, but, but, yeah, no, but or we may not use all of the footage, but I mean, even if you just wear it for most of the time. The other piece, mm -hmm. and this goes along with that, you're in an industry that has a ton of competition. And I'm for using sure. competition very loosely because they're not yeah. nearly as good as you. We need to make sure we're protecting your assets. So mm -hmm. any pictures, any videos, even if it's just a subtle logo in the bottom right corner. Oh, we that's wanna, a really good idea. You have to protect it. If you're going to showcase you know, an amazing build you just did. You don't want somebody to download the video, which is super simple, right. and use it as their own. And that's why drywall is so gatekept. Is you have, and you have people claiming to do work that they didn't right. do, or, you know, one one video that actually comes to mind, God damn it, with the videos that you're making me pitch, is, you know, the I've seen hangers and how quickly they do it. And when you it's actually, crazy. it's crazy fast. I would love to see that in real time, and literally the caption is, not time-lapsed. Right? So it's literally just showing how quickly they do it. It's a three man crew. It's like they're both going, one's holding, and it just moves. It's, I, I've seen an entire room done in 20 minutes. Yeah. It's They've crazy. done, I've had hangers hang 19,000 square foot of board in a day and a half. It's insane. Yeah. But entire having, school, like, that whole Cedar Springs daycare, it. the new one yeah. up there. My hangers hung that in a day and a half. That's insane. But then having, like, seeing that and them going, oh, I can't do it that fast. It's gonna take me. I'm not touching, I'm not hanging that in two weeks. But even have it like a general right. consumer looking yeah. at it going, I'm not doing yeah. whatever the hell they right. just did. I can't do that. Right. I'm just going to hire somebody else to do it. Sure. And then now they've seen it from you. It's yeah. bullet or it's branded as you. Showing some of the things like the ins and outs that people think is just, well, you just roll in with a little flat thing and you just do it. Well, mm -hmm. no, there's so much more to it. Yeah. And then same with, you know, those rounded corners. And that's where the GoPro can come in is just getting some footage of what it really is like to do what you do right. and why yours is so different. I think a mission video and or some sort of hybrid between a mission and a our process video is bare minimum mm -hmm. because you're sure. only using Facebook. And that's something that you can send out before you do estimates. You know, you can send them out to your subcontracting teams. This is who we are. This is why we charge what we do. You know, this is why we're a bit more expensive and you look ex like way more expensive. Right. Really, I think most of this content stuff can be done on your own. And I know like you don't want to outsource things that you don't have.
have to outsource. Mm -hmm. The GoPro is going to be huge. I also think even just a one page website just to- Oh, that's mine. A hundred percent. Yes. Just to, just to have it. You know, yeah, so like when people type in drywall on Google, boop, boop. There's a, there's a couple of reasons. I don't even do Google. like. And that's, honestly, well, that's okay for now. Yeah. But right. if at some point you want to get to a point where you have multiple crews or, so the website is going to do a couple of things, in my opinion. One, it's going to help with SEO. Mm -hmm. so, like, so make you a little bit easier to find. Even if you're not running ads, it still makes you findable. You exist yeah, in the interwebs sure. outside of social media. Uh -huh. Anybody can create a Facebook account. Yeah. It's a little bit harder to create a good website. The other piece of the website is it adds credibility. It's essentially the new or the current business card. If you don't have right. a website, your business is... Yeah, I don't have I, to I have a craft business. consider with doing that is it makes it easier to justify hiring somebody. Somebody who's looking for a job, even if it's somebody who's younger, is going to go poke around and see who's going to hire them. If you have a website that shows quality, I'm willing to teach, we're willing to train. Even if you had a constantly open employment option, right, where somebody can submit a resume and you're willing to teach, you'd be shocked by how many kids are going to sign up to learn from you. Yeah. If you have a website versus, I'm just this guy that does drywall and the only time you ever see me is when my mom is on the Rockford Informed page. If you're looking to hire potentially younger employees, mm -hmm. having somewhere for them to look, and then posting occasionally that you're out, that you're looking. Yeah, every sure. every month, post one, hey, we've got a, we've got a job opening for another yeah. finisher. People don't know the standard that you're looking for because they can't see it. Because the standard that they're seeing is simply social media posts that are ebbing and flowing, you haven't posted in a few yeah. weeks, and then all of a sudden you're posting a ton, you had a bunch of great reels, and now you've kind of died off. And it's not because you don't want to or because you can't, it's just you don't have capacity. And what I'm envisioning is an interview with you just talking about, yeah, I've been through a hundred fucking people. They, they just don't get it. It's just not up to the standard that I want. Right. You know, so it's it's eternally difficult. Making that super clear to both your prospects and to your prospective employees, yes. that's huge because that attracts a very certain type of person. Same with the GoPro stuff. Right. If you're constantly talking in your videos about like, God, look at this fucking corner. Like, I, I can't believe it looks like that and it looks all right. You know, and like yeah. just that little stuff of you like nitpicking all the work. Oh, for and, sure. And all that yeah. stuff. Like, I definitely well, do all that. One, that's a hell of a lot of content you can do. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. But, but also, that shows me, like, not only is it just soothing to watch, because people like watching people with GoPros, but it also shows that you have a fucking standard. Uh, oh, this isn't good enough. And especially if it's something that you did, and then you fix it. Like, you did it yeah. badly. You're like, nope, nope, that's not good enough and then you go and redo it, especially on your own work, yeah. it's gonna show that you're discerning not just to your employees and like watching their work, right. but that you're constantly bringing up your quality. Right. So when you go to them and go, are you really trying your best or are you really doing the best, the best, or that you're really delivering the quality that I demand? And they go, well, no, and it's not just them, you're also doing it to yourself. For sure, yeah, a thousand percent. It's that, it's that level setting of, I'm not just nitpicking you, yeah. I'm nitpicking everything because quality is above or is below nothing else. So I think those, those are the big things for me. I think those FAQs, the ongoing video, I think reels are it's that ASMR things. It's a yep. little, it's those little, like I want to watch you do an entire room from its hung to its pretty much in finished form. Right. I know you can do that in a day in a relatively small room, right? It's hung. My God, if I could watch you do a full hang and then a full finish in a day and it's a time-lapse video of like, I don't know, a minute and a half, like a foot, like an actual reel. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, the thing, like you throw that on TikTok yeah. and you're gonna have hundreds of followers just going. Yeah, I don't even have a yeah. TikTok. If you're, and it, honestly, that's and the that's other gonna piece. get you in front of the younger people too. Cause they're not on Facebook. And that's where you're gonna be able to hire. If you're already creating great video content anyway, mm -hmm. throw it everywhere. You can optimize oh, sure. it and make it for Facebook, yeah. throw it on Instagram too. Yeah. Right? If you're already making it, throw it up on it's YouTube. It's already there, it's a button click. Exactly, and if you're already doing that, Upload it to TikTok too. You don't have to optimize it for every platform. And I know we talk about this all the time. Yes, there's ways to be better on every platform, but if you've already made it, good and done is better than perfect. 
So Every let's just time, throw it out there. I got so many other things I could be doing. Exactly. Right. And it's two clicks to upload that video. Yeah. When it comes to quality of your work, that's there's nothing above that. Right. But when it comes to the quality of those videos or having it fully optimized, we know you don't need that right now. Right. If you're ever a massive corporation of mud vendors around the country, then maybe we look at optimizing for every single yeah. platform with each of these videos. We franchise. But for right else. now, yeah. <laughs> it makes perfect sense to just have good yeah. and having something that just people draws people's attention in. You're going to find that when people actually have to see like what things you're looking for, they're going to go tear their own homes apart. Sure. Like, what the hell happened with this corner? Oh, wait, that was mine. I did that. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, I do that just around my own house. Mm -hmm. Like, because I've, I've noticed, like, little inconsistencies, and I'm just like, wait, I saw that on TikTok the other day. Like, that's not supposed to look like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. or, or I know what they fucked up, <laughs> you yeah. know? And, and yeah, that, like, that just as a consumer is very interesting. Well, so I, those are our big, our big three then. So the FAQs and the videos, hybrid mission and our process, which I think would be amazing, one, to put on your website, but also pre-sending to anybody you're about to go quote. So they know when you're coming in, like this is not just a slam it out and get it done and it's going to be filthy and dirty and it's going to look sh like shit painted. Yeah, sure. yeah. And then having, even it's just a simple website, basic SEO, if you ever then want to run ads, it already has a baseline. You already can completely push things that way. You could look at doing social media ads if you ever really needed to. You pick a geography that you know is constantly being renovated or people who have a little bit of that higher income. Yeah. Somebody like, you know, you look in Ada, you look in Rockford, kind of those yeah, outliers. Yeah, my wife has done a few on the Exactly. Facebook. So doing They those, actually return pretty decently. They do. And depending Every on the time. target. Yeah, no, so, they work for sure. Uh huh. They work. And then honestly, even that mission in our process video, cutting that down into like a 30 second one mm -hmm. that could easily be run as an ad is also a great option. So mm -hmm. when you need to drum up more work or you're feeling a little sluggish and you're only two weeks out instead of three, you do a $50 burst ad right. and it goes directly to the Facebook page, which is already now active growing. Yep. Yeah, and that video content can also go into those groups. So instead of just saying, you know, hey, I need a drywall guy and everyone tagging a business, mm -hmm. now someone tags the business and you comment back with your video and saying, you know, hey, this the is the artist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, just, it's faster. You just keep it right there on your phone, upload it, and, and you go. Yeah. And it's just, it just shows how different you are yeah. and how much more dedicated you are to getting that work by just taking the extra two seconds to get that done. All right. So what, I guess the next part is what questions do you have for us? Anything? Is anything we told you surprising? No. no it's just finding the time and the- He's been telling time. me this stuff for, <laughs> I've been around with that marketing group for like, there were not, Started. there were not many people in that group when I mm -hmm. went oh, there. Yeah. yeah. And so like, I've been around it a long while and he's been messaging me pretty much all these things for a long while. Do they feel like they're something that you could manage? Like grabbing a GoPro and, and wearing it for a, day, a couple of days? Oh, I could easily wear a GoPro. I talk a lot. It, none of that's going to be an issue. It's getting off of the GoPro and all of that. All and the, all after, the yeah, all of that nonsense. And that's maybe where you at some point consider getting it. It's thousand percent where I will not be. And that's maybe where you bring in the help is not necessarily in the content absorption, but in what do right. I do with it? Right. Are like I can do. <laughs> I can, I the hiring's gone so well. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Because that's just great. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, like, I just need help in that area, I would say, over anything. Because, like, the work, I can do the work. You know, if my favorite I, part of if this I need the conversation. one, two, three, yeah. I can do the one, two, three. Uh -huh. But then, like, my time after that, and my children, <laughs> yeah. and my wife, <laughs> and my dogs are all right here. And they're like, do you really have to make that video? Because you do all the things you do, mm -hmm. so you can do all this down here and be that family guy and be that dad for the kids. So like, that's where, do I take this 30 minutes and make this real and pound out this editing or go play catch with my kid? 15 times out of 10, I'm gonna go play catch with my 100%. kid. 100%. And that's where, so in terms of simplicity, starting with the thing right. that will can be created and then it just exists. So start with mm -hmm. the website. Yeah. Because that's, you can pick away at it if you're gonna build it yourself. Or again, you can outsource any of these things. Yeah, I'm not building myself websites. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the realm of branding. 
Like, for sure. But honestly, that's the one thing. Like, it's a one-time investment, right? You're gonna build yeah. the time and the energy. I have no the one issue thing. paying for someone to make and a then website. I think that so if anyone wants to make a website, let me know. Um, the fuck. Hello, right here. I, yeah. Damn. <laughs> We're editing that shit out. Does anybody want to make a website? So I'm sitting right here. That was your cue. You were supposed to look right there and be like, boom. You, lined you it dropped up the ball. Uh, I didn't I drop just, it. I just said, uh, hello. Uh, I know there's only one place. Where can people find you? <laughs> Facebook. Facebook. Uh, what are you at? Like, what's your, what's your name oh, on Facebook? Oh, Mudbenders. It's just, it's not Mudbenders Drywall, right? It's just Mudbenders. No, it's just Mudbenders. It might be LLC. I don't think so, though. Maybe. It might be. Um, and the bio is going to be looked. updated by the time they see this and go look at the Facebook page, right? Oh, yeah, it is. It's So it's Mudbenders LLC. So go check that out. And it if, has. And if Brandon hasn't gone through and changed that fucking Message bio him. at the very least. Message Actually, him. publicly shame, please. Yeah. Actually, publicly like, shame. Post on, on the wall. Facebook page. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this is your bio. Yep, we need Poke to. me. I, <laughs> oh, that is Can a we thing even again. still do that? It's a thing again. Yeah, yeah that, it is. My and now people, invite is actually coming back. Well, and now <laughs> people are doing that with cold outreach too. It's the most annoying oh, that's shit gross. ever. So yeah, I just want MySpace. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to be able to rank my friends again. Right. right? <laughs> like you pissed me off. You're going down at least three spots. My friends know their rankings already. <laughs> You don't have to put it on MySpace. No. They know you call them if they piss you off. Correct. Lower, like, you're number three now. Facts. <laughs> yeah. You're falling. Yeah. Quickly. Mm. You know what? I'm just going to remove you. My <laughs> you're not, you didn't even make the top ten anymore. Nope. Right. <laughs> you're an honorable mention now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And on that fine note, as we've gone completely nostalgic and wishing that all the social things were not the current social things. Well, I think that's it for this episode. Yeah. So, guys, we made it through our fourth episode of Michigan Marketing in the Morning. And if you're seeing this episode, that means that it's still going. So that's cool. <laughs> um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys do need a drywall guy in West Michigan, this is your fucking guy. 100%. And he is very likely to be the actual guy to be doing your fucking <laughs> drywall, right. too. He's like, damn it. <laughs> still so. <man. laughs> Still just me, <laughs> still doing the things. <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys have any questions for uh, for Brandon, all of his info is going to be in the description and you can just drop a comment and we will see them there and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. I feel like that's the only reason you agreed to do this podcast while we were drinking, by the way. We should never make decisions while we're drinking. This is the only reason you agreed to do a podcast was because we could then excuse you buying more microphones. Yes. Great. That's amongst, amongst other things. Toxic. <laughs>